Today I'm going to be building one of your comment suggestions and that is to add a railgun to a plane. I keep seeing this comment pop up every now and then. And one of you guys really wants me to put a railgun on a plane. Which is a really interesting concept because I'm not sure how well that would function. But regardless, we're going to try it anyway. So of course we need our magnets. So let's get building. And I've already built a railgun in the past. I think I did it with Dan online. And I think what I did there is I actually angled... I actually angled the magnets inwards a bit to kind of boost the magnets or the magnetism. But I don't think that's really necessary now that I think about it. I just think that they're in close enough proximity that this could potentially work with uh, them being in a straight line. Obviously, the plan of action here is to get the railgun working first, and then we can build the plane after. Okay, let's get our detachable blocks ready. Yeah, you know what? This is looking pretty good for like a railgun bar so far. And this is always the tricky part, is actually making the projectile. And I think what I can do is actually make sure these are not connected and have two different projectiles, just like that. Okay, slapping a seat on. There we go. And I'm going to make sure my dynamite is not configured. All right, guys, this is our first test. Here we go. I mean, it could be a lot stronger and a lot faster to push the, uh, the projectile, but I mean, it's working. I think with the velocity of the plane too, like the momentum of me flying around will make uh, the projectiles just go faster anyway. But I can probably actually make this a lot stronger. I have a bunch more magnets in place. Let's give this a quick test. Oh yeah, that feels better. Okay, they're not having a fun time exploding. Maybe I just need to have bigger projectiles? Okay, with enough distance, they do explode. Why don't I just make it like one big projectile and add a distance sensor? That kind of just guarantees an explosion. If it flies straight, that is. <laughs> Let's see if we can figure out how to make this thing fly a little bit more straight. Okay, oh, <laughs> I blew myself up again. Ready? Three, two, one, launch! Okay, so what I did there is add a paddle to try and keep it going straight. Can't really add another one because there's not really any connection points. I, I think it's a bit back heavy too. Maybe trying this out. Okay, that definitely went really straight. I just... Oh, okay, there we go. It's not perfect, but I think it's manageable. Like, I think you can actually hit a target with that, like, if you're flying. Well, I'm pretty happy with this design so far, so let's get working on the plane. So essentially, I just gotta modify this, and I think this can be, like, the front of the plane. However, it will be very nose-heavy. This is already 191 kg, so I'm just wondering how I really want to build this thing. You know what? I'll figure something out. I always do. I really need to use my forces tool here because there's a lot of weight that's been shifted because of these magnets, but I've made the, the thing a little bit more compact now, and we've got a cockpit going on, so the cockpit's gonna be at the back, and then yeah, still working on it. We're getting there. All right, here it is. This is the aircraft so far. I have no idea how it flies. So this is the first time literally taken off in this thing. Let's do it. Let's go. Do we have enough power? Got two large jets on there. You know what? That's just... That actually flies pretty well. All right, let's test our hitch. Nice. We have your controls, so I can be a little bit more accurate when I'm trying to hit something. And then we have roll. Quite a simple aircraft. It's just a very unusual shape. More inspired by, I think, like World War II planes. But, you know, just because we have a freaking railgun on this thing, it has to be pretty unusual, right? But here goes nothing. Let's test out the railgun. Three, two, one... I mean, it shot, it really did launch. It's just like very flimsy in the air, I think. Like, three, two, one. Okay, it works, it works. It just needs to be quite close to the target. Like, I need a real target here. What do I shoot? I think I'm gonna go for like the arena signs. Here we go. All right, let's hit the battle bot thing. Three, two, one, launch. Ooh, that was so clean. So I kind of just need to like hit the target and pull up out of the way as fast as possible. I want to make this thing faster. Can I make this thing faster? Yeah, I can. I just need to add more engines. <laughs> All right, there you go. This thing's a beast now. Look at that. I'm just thinking, is there any possible way to make this aerodynamic i don't think there is because i could do the zero drag on the front of the distance sensor however 
with blocks being in front of the distance sensor, it's going to explode the projectile. So that's a rip. Can't do that. But what I can do is give this thing an awesome paint job. All right, here it is. The paint job is finished. I've gone for like a cool green theme, green and gray, just because the magnets kind of glow gr uh, green when they get ready to, you know, when they power on. And then also I've added a bunch of sirens on the side of the fuselage because it makes a, a like a really cool sound when I launch the, uh, the actual railgun. Just give this a listen. That was cool. <laughs> so let's just hit this mountain. Okay. All right, the projectile's still a little stinky, but I don't really know how to fix it, guys. But let's just go on a flight. Let's go. Let's go blow up some stuff. What is it that I want to destroy first? Hmm. Well, everything's indestructible anyway. I just need targets, really. Okay, perfect. First target. Can we shoot one through this ring of fire? Three, two, one. No! <laughs> oh, no! It went to the side. All right, we gotta start again. Okay, well... I need to be closer to something. There you go. This this thing here. This sign. The big sign. The purple one. Three, two, one. No! <laughs> oh god, I did the same thing. I just need to like kind of boom and zoom, I think. There we go. We actually hit something. Just gonna attack all these signs. Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa, what? Hang on a minute. Let me jump out of my build. I think my projectile went that fast. It got stuck inside the sign. That is the first time I've ever seen that. Can I stand on it? Oh, there you go. Yikes. I'd love to, like, go into public lobbies and test this thing against people. However, I am on the early access version. Obviously, reverting back to the live version just glitches out my game. So I'm kind of just stuck here in single player, which is fine. I can still make some awesome builds for you guys. All right. I don't know what I want to shoot for. You know what? There's a bunch of, like, debris down here, right? Barrels and things. Oh, yeah, there you go. Those signs or those fences. We do want... Oh, okay. That's our new targets, guys. Those four, like, wooden gates. Here we go. Here we go. Line up, line up. Nope. I was pointing the nose up there. But as long as I'm, like, aiming kind of, like, with nose down, I think it's a pretty decent projectile. And it's probably a lot stronger than, like, the rockets. It's definitely a lot stronger than a normal rocket launcher and, like, normal bombs. Because dynamite just does so much damage. Okay, I'm kind of just waiting for my repair token right now. Here, can I just get a new one? Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, no! Quickly, repair! Ah! I think I want to launch myself off the catapult. That's what I want to do. Can I get onto it? Oh, no. Are you kidding me? I'm so close. Not enough space. Not enough space. The fastest takeoff you'll ever see. And... <laughs> no! What? Are you kidding me? It's just my luck, guys. I'm terrible at this. Oh, come on. Come on. Launch me, please. There you go. Woo! Finally. I don't know if... Railgun plane is viable in a dogfight, let's say. Clearly not, but I mean, like, if you if you get used to the controls and used to how the projectile works, maybe you guys can make a better one than me. It's probably really good against ground targets. Like that! There you go! Two in one! Woohoo! All right, all I gotta do now is wait for my repair token, take out the less, the last two gates or fences, and we're good. Just taking a quick tour of the canyons here. This thing's pretty maneuverable, actually. Like, it's not too... It's a very chunky plane, but, you know, it's fine. Does the job. Okay, nearly there. Nearly there. Repair token. It sounds so amazing when I uh, have the sirens on. Oh, here we go. Air repair. Last targets. I see them. Three, two, one. No! They went up. Oh... That's a rip. Okay, I'm gonna land. There we go. Nice landing. Repair. Come on. And then immediately take back off. Oh, oh, oh. Can we? Can we? Oh, oh my engine. Okay, we still have three engines. It's fine. We're good. Oh, it's making me turn to the right. Uh-oh. 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 Launch. Yes! It counts! It blew up. The distance sensor worked. All right, one last target. Let's go hit some hoops. 
There you go. <laughs> I am pretty satisfied with this build. Well, I hope you liked this one, guys. Making your suggestions here. Let me know what else, like, wacky aircrafts I can build. This is very unique, and I actually enjoyed making this one. So if you guys have any more ideas, definitely leave them down below. And whilst you're there, why not consider subscribing? It's free. Anyway, that's enough from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!